Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hazen Union for today's girls basketball game. I'm John Lucier. We'll be bringing you the broadcast today, subbing for Lance Hall. Today, the Lady Cats take on the Bullets of Fairfax. Hazen comes in on the heels of a big win against a good Blue Mountain team, 47-42, to extend their winning streak to 14 games and solidify their ranking at number two in Division Three. Fairfax is 2-12, and 12, and Hazen will be looking to keep the streak going. But they got to play the game. That's why they play them, so anything can happen. But if Hazen wins this game, they're really going to be in good shape for the playoffs. And let me see. Hazen is going to start. Haley Mitchard, Caitlin Davison, Tessa Luther, Alexis Christensen, and... And Ella Gillespie. There we go, the center tip. Controlled by Tess Luther. Luther brings it up, gets it up to Kaitlyn Davison on the right wing. Fakes left, goes right, goes all the way, lays it up, but no good. Rebound by Haley Mitchard. She, oh, she lost control of it, picked off by Fairfax. And here comes Fairfax. Long pass underneath, oh, knocked out of bounds. It'll be a white ball. No foul called on there. That shot by number 15, Hannah Miller. So here comes Hazen, Caitlin Davison bringing it up, running the point. Gets it over to Luther in the corner to Gillespie. She looks, Alexis Christensen out on top, over here to Davison. They're moving the ball quickly. Tess Luther inside to Mitchard, back out to Tess. Tess spots up, three ball on the way, no good off the side of the rim. Controlled there by Faith Benjamin of Fairfax. She almost threw it away, but Forrest Gilman picked it up. Gets it back to Benjamin. Benjamin stops, oh, oh fake the shot. Go, they go underneath. Oh, we got a whistle and a travel. That was number 15, Hannah Miller. Looks like their Fairfax is trying to go underneath against Hazen. So here comes Davison. Gets the ball over the half court line. Hesitates, doesn't pick up her dribble, goes. Gets it over to Christensen in the corner, back into Davison. Davison looks, oh, tried to get it over to Gillespie, but it's picked off in there by Anna Villeneuve. Gets it up quickly. And there goes uh, Forrest Skillman. Couldn't get it to go. Hazen breaking. Gets it to Davison. Davison's going to go all the way to the hoop. Put it up. No good. Refs are allowing some contact in there. We got a whistle and a jump ball, I believe. So it's going to be Fairfax ball. Here comes Fairfax. Hazen in a 2-3 zone right now. No, it looks like they're playing a matchup man-to-man. -man. Benjamin gets it over to Villeneuve. Villeneuve, long shot off the side of the rim. Rebound controlled by Luther. Gets it quickly to Davison. Here comes Hazen, long pass up to Christensen. Christian wants to drive, but she shut off on the baseline. Brings it back out. Oh, she hits Tess Luther. Oh, Tess Luther just passed a little bit behind her. She was wide open down the middle. She's still going to drive, put it up. Oh, and it's good. What a nice little acrobatic layup there by Tess Luther. She didn't give up on it. Here comes Fairfax. This is Taylor Duquette. She's going to fire up a three off the rim. Davison with another rebound. Here she comes. Gets it up to Christian. Hazen looking to run. Bounce pass. Tried to go into Luther, but they're going to call a kick. So Hazen pushing the ball up here. So here goes Davison, out on top, gets it to Gillespie. Gillespie looking, nothing there, gets it over to Luther on the side, inside to Haley Mitchell. Oh, off her hands. And I'll tell you, the temperature could have something to do with that because the hands are cold. Oh, we got a whistle, and they're going to call a foul on the floor as Davison drove, but they got her before she went up for the shot. That foul is on Hannah Miller, her first team first. Just underway here, Hazen up on top, two to nothing. Christensen looking to rebound it. Gets it over to Haley Mitchard. Out on top to Davison. Davison spots up a long three, and that's short. So it goes out of bounds, and Fairfax will retain control. Here comes Benjamin for Fairfax. Walking it up. Hazen in a half-court man-to-man. -man. Gets it over there to Taylor Duquette. Taylor Duquette comes left, stops. Picked up by Haley Mitchard. Looking to hand it off. She gets it to Villeneuve. Villeneuve on the baseline, gets it back out on top. That's Taylor Duquette with a long three in and out, but the rebound, oh, couldn't go. 
Fairfax with an offensive. Oh, we got a collision on the floor. The ball comes out, picked up by Luther. Quickly to Christensen, over to Gillespie. Gillespie, crossover, lays it up, no good short. Gets the rebound, puts it up, and it went. And they're going to give it to her. So Gillespie missed the first one, but stayed with it. Got an off angle shot up, and it hung on the rim, dropped in, and she got fouled. And that foul is on Faith Benjamin. In the game now, we have Isabel Gowan. She comes in for Caitlin Davison. So Gillespie will go to the free throw, try to make it a three-point play here. And it looks good. Yeah, and she does. It's 5 nothing Hazen, 4.54 left to go in the first quarter. Just underway on a balmy day here in Hardwick. Fairfax over the line. And that's Faith Benjamin. They get it over there to Villeneuve. She looks, comes left, guarded by Christensen. Picks up a drill, and the ball is picked by Christensen. Oh, they called her for a trip, and good Good defense by Alexis Christensen. Uh, she would have had a breakaway layup, but she got tripped in the process. That foul was on Anna Villeneuve, her first. Team's third already. Into, into Gowan. Gowan looking. Goes underneath to Christensen. Puts up a shot. Partially blocked. Picked off by Fairfax. Hannah Miller comes up with it. Gets it over here to Taylor Ducat. Long pass. She was trying to hit for Skillman, but it went out of bounds. And Hazen's going to get it. Here comes Julia DeGrosier in for Haley Mitchard. So Coach Randy Lumsden subbing fast and often, keeping fresh legs in there. Here comes Christensen, Alexis Christensen over to Gowan. Gowan looking, goes left. Back to Luther, Luther squares up. Oh, drives the lane and look, oh, they're gonna call her for, for a foul. That foul is on Forrest Skillman. That's her first. So Hazen's going to inbound it. Alexis Christensen to throw it in. There's the screen. Somebody's coming open. They get it over to Gowan in the corner. She looks, comes right, stops, gets it back out on top to Tess Luther. Over here to Christensen, spots up, three ball on the way. Bang, nothing but net. Alexis Christensen puts the lead up to eight to nothing for Hazen halfway through the first quarter. This is Faith Benjamin. She goes underneath to Villeneuve. She lays it up. Oh, she gets it to roll, and she is fouled. Good little baseline move there by Anna Villeneuve. She's going to go to the line. Basket's good. Makes it 8-2. to two. And that foul is on Alexis Christensen, her first, team's first. So Villeneuve looking to... Finalize the three-point play here. She dips, fires, and in. Nothing but net. Makes a score eight to three here. Halfway through the first quarter. And here comes Christensen. Christensen tries to drive middle, stops. Gets it over to Gillespie. Gillespie looking inside. Back to Gowan. Gowan to Christensen. Christensen's going to drive. Pops it out to Gillespie. She uh, fakes a three. Gives it to Luther. Luther goes left. Stops at the elbow. Hits Christensen, takes one dribble, fires it up, and it's good. Alexis Christensen with another three. Oh, they only give her a two. Must be her foot was on the line. So here's Faith Benjamin. Oh, almost picked off by Gillespie. They go inside to number 11. That's four Skillman. Missed the layup. Here comes Luther. Luther looking to run. Gets it up court quickly to Gillespie. Hits, oh, tried to hit Julia. Just a little bit late on the pass to Julia DeGroslier, but it was a nice looking play. And here comes Faith Benjamin for Fairfax, comes left, guarded by Gillespie, gets it over to Taylor Duquette. Oh, they go inside. That was Faith Benjamin, missed the layup. Here comes Alexis Christensen, long pass down to Gowan. Gowan's gonna go left, she's left-handed, lays it up short. Nice take though, oh. Here comes Forrest Skillman, and oh, we're going to get a foul, and that foul is probably going to be on Alexis. It is, and it's her second. Team second. Quickly off the bench, here comes Caitlin Davison in for Alexis Christensen. That's too bad because Alexis was warming up a little bit on that three-point line. 2.48 left to go here in the first. John Lucier here doing the broadcast, subbing for Lance today. 
Hazen on top, 10 to three. Fairfax inbound it. They, oh, they go inside, they can't get it. Rebound in there by Julia DeGrosley. The freshman's been playing very well lately. Here goes Caitlin Davison, stutter step, stops. Looks inside to Julia. Julia takes one dribble, stops, pivots, gets out of the lane. Tess Luther drives all the way down the lane, high off the glass with the left hand and put it in, 12-3. Favor the Lady Cats. Here comes Fairfax, Benjamin. Benjamin out on top, looking to slow it down, guarded by Gillespie, there's a screen. She's picked up by Tess Luther, still retaining her dribble. Brings it back out, picks it up. Gets it inside to Skillman. Skillman goes down on the baseline. And Skillman's pretty quick. And she gets fouled. That foul is on Ella, Ella Gillespie. And uh, it was on the floor, so they're going to take the ball inbounds. So Fairfax will bring it inbounds here. Oh, that's thrown away, picked off by Luther. There's a scrum on the floor, jump ball called. It's gonna be Hazen's ball. Tess Luther doing a good job today. Rebounding and getting her hands on the ball. Haley Mitchard's coming back in. She's coming in for Ella Gillespie. So Randy now has Coach Lumsden, let me see. He has just two starters on the floor right now. Leading 12 to three with two minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Here comes Caitlin Davidson running the point to Tess Luther. Picks up her dribble, goes inside to the girl's ear, takes one dribble, makes some space, puts it up, no good. Fights for the rebound, comes up with it, back out to Luther. Luther fakes the spot on the three, dribbles in, gets it back to Gowan. Gowan's going to go left down the lane, put it up, no good. Rebound by Fairfax. Hazen getting some good looks. Here comes Benjamin. Benjamin stutter steps, goes past Davidson, stops, puts it up on the baseline, back rim, no good. Rebound knocked around. Julia knocked it to Caitlin. Here comes Caitlin flying down the court. Stutter step, backs it back out. Stops, pops, puts it up. No good. Rebound by Haley Mitchard. She puts it up, and it's good. Haley Mitchard with an offensive rebound. Makes it 14-3. And here comes Fairfax over the half-court line. Benjamin gets it into Megan Rainville in the game. Oh, at the elbow. Oh, wide open underneath. And oh, and she missed the layup. That was Faith Benjamin. Missed an easy layup. Here comes Davison getting control of the ball. Comes down, stops at the three-point line. Way over here to Luther. Luther spots up. There's the girls' ear. She stopped. Oh, she traveled. Switch pivot foot. Should have shot it. Coach Randy Lumsden is going to remind her of that. <laughs> it calls timeout. So we got less than a minute left here to go in the first quarter. And your Lady Wildcats are on top, 14 to 3. I want to take a minute and thank our sponsors today. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future, and they're also accepting applications. They're now open for any GMTCC programs, and they got a list of them. So for more information, just give them a call. Call the school. They'll tell you how to get a hold of them. And if you're interested in a technological future, give them a call because they have a really good program. Okay, less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. Here comes Faith Benjamin. She's there, all everything player. Gets it over there. Oh, almost out of bounds by Peyton Niles. Comes right, guarded, picked up by Luther. Stops, picks up her dribble. They get it inside. That's Ella Drury back out on top. Oh, it's going to be thrown away. Is David not? Oh, she thought she was going to go backcourt, but she gets it to Luther. Luther tried to get it cross court to Julia. It was Picked off by Faith Benjamin. Benjamin coming up here. They get it to Drury. Back. Oh, long ball there, and it's short. That by Anna Villeneuve goes out of bounds. So Hazen's going to look for the last shot here, leading 14 to 3. So Luther's going to inbound it to Davison. Davison will just trot it up, let the clock run down. They bounce it into. Haley Mitchard at the elbow. Back to Davison. Davison's going to stop. Put it up. No good. Rebound by DeGrosley, though. She's short. Oh, and she got fouled. That's probably why she was short. She got hacked. So Julia DeGrosley, the freshman, making an impact on the boards already. She goes to the line to shoot two.
girls here. Stops, puts it up, and it's good. Girls here bounces, sets herself, puts it up, and back rims it. Rebound by Haley Mitchard. Over to Kaitlyn Davison. She puts it up. No good, but she gets hammered. So Kaitlyn Davison will go to the free throw line with 2.1 seconds left to go in the first quarter, and the Lady Cats on top, 15-3, to looking to extend their winning streak to 15 games. And that includes a forfeit by Twinfield, by the way. Davison, first one's good. <laughs> Davison, second one's good. So Fairfax is going to inbound it here. Hazen will throw up a little token press just so they don't get a shot off, and they don't. And there's the buzzer, and at the end of the first quarter, your Lady Cats, 17, Fairfax, 3. I just want to take a moment to congratulate Elizabeth and Griffin Lucier, who usually are doing the broadcast here, working at HCTV all the time. They are the proud parents of a baby girl born at 1.30 this morning, so they have other things on their mind today and couldn't be here. But congratulations to them. So as I said before, the Lady Wildcats on a, looking to extend a 15 game winning streak here S solidifying their number two position in the states which is very important you either want to be two or three if you go to Barry, if you get that far because you don't want to face a number one team if you're number four you got to face a number one team and the first two games if there are two games if there's no seedings the first two games in the playoffs will be here at hazen with a record like that so that means we don't have to travel. And if we win those two, all we have to do is go to Barry. So we're in pretty good shape here. So we get ready for the second quarter here. Hazen inbounds it. Luther over to Davison. Davison working the point. Brings it up. Sees what she has. Back to Luther on the left wing. Luther goes left. Picks up her dribble. Out on top to Gowan. Still in the game. Freshman. Gowan. Hands it off to Davidson. Davidson stops. Foul line jumper. Bang. Boy, when you can do a dribble jump stop like that, you are deadly because you don't have to drive and you don't have to spot up. Oh, inside. Oh, that is Forrest Skillman. She took the ball. I'll tell you, she's pretty quick. She's been drawing some fouls in there. And that foul is on Julia Grosier. No, it isn't. It's foul on number one. That's Isabel Gallon. So Skillman, left-handed, will shoot, and high arc, bounce, bounce, no good. In the game now, we have Bailey Christensen. Bailey's a sophomore, replaced Gowan, who's a freshman. Second shot, bounces, bounces, no good. Rebound by DeGorzier, gets it off to Davison. Davison brings it up, takes it to the middle. Trying to set up the offense, gets it to Luther on the left wing, drives to the baseline, picks up her dribble. Bailey Christensen hands it off to Luther. Luther goes left, stops it, brings it back out. Hazen looking for the good shot, working the ball. They bounce pass it into Haley Mitchard. She gets it back out to Luther, wide open. Oh, couldn't get it to go. But the rebound by Bailey Christensen back out to Luther. Davison stops. Oh, she could have taken that. Hazen moving the ball well. Luther over here to Christensen. Christensen to Mitchard. Gets it to Davison. Davison bounce pass to Luther. Luther baseline three off the front of the rim. Bailey Christensen with the rebound. Puts it up. That's no good. Rebound controlled by Fairfax. That rebound by Anna Villeneuve. Gives it to Benjamin. Benjamin running down forecourt. Bounces it in to Skillman. Skillman stops. Puts it up. And can't get it to go. Rebound in there. Whoa. Nice rebound. Strong rebound by Haley Mitchard. Bailey Christensen stops, gets it back out on top to Davison. Davison way over here to Luther. Bounces it into Grosley or to Grosley back to Luther. Baseline comes left, back into Julia, puts it up. Oh, that's a perfect play. A little in and out. Not only that, but when Julia de Grosley 
passed the ball back out. She took a step back up to the foul line, so she got a better angle, and they gave it back to her, and she had the easy shot. Oh, inside there, nice block by Davidson. Feeds Luther, stops, puts it up, and it's good. Oh, Fairfax says, I've seen that for a minute. I'm going to call a timeout. So with six minutes left to go here in the second quarter, Hazen on a nice little run. They lead the Bullets 23-3. to now, I just want to remind you, you are watching HCTV Channel 1080, and you can also pick up the stream at www.hctv.us. And we are sponsored today by Buffalo Mountain Port Power Sports, who support Hazen Athletics at 472-5522, and by the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, also known as GMTCC. Jumpstart your future and they are accepting applications and they're now open for any GMTCC program and they have a whole list of them here. So if your student is interested in a technical career, get into that program because they are doing some awesome things down there. Now Allison Blaney's JV girls had an easy one today. They won, I think it was 76 to two. Um, it could have been a lot worse, but I'll tell you, the future looks great for Hazen Union Lady Wildcat basketball here. When you look at the roster, we have three seniors on the team, two freshmen, a sophomore, and there's a couple three eighth graders that are playing on JVs that are really doing well. So we are in good shape. Going to be some fun basketball here the next few years, both boys and girls. So here comes Fairfax out of the timeout. Here comes Benjamin. She gets it over there to Villeneuve. She's going to take a long three. It's short. Rebound in there by Gillespie back in the game. Davison quickly up to Bailey Christensen. She fumbles it, loses it. And a Villeneuve's going to go all the way. She fakes, puts it up, and it's good. A little stutter step there. Drew the defender out and laid it in. 23-5 to five now. Here comes Davison over here to Luther. Oh, they tried to go in the ball. Gillespie, it was tipped, went right through her legs. And here goes Skillman, and there's a little collision picked up there by Davison. Davison looking up, didn't have anybody deep. Bailey Mitchell was covered. Bailey Christensen bounces it into Gillespie. Back to Bailey Christensen. Over to Luther. Luther up top. Goes left, one dribble. Bailey Christensen. Fairfax playing man-to-man. -man. Hayes, oh, bad pass there, picked off by Taylor Duquette. She stops, brings it back out, goes around. Luther lays up a hook shot, no good. Rebound by Davison. Davison looking, goes left down the lane, spins, comes back right. Oh, she's going to go all the way in for a layup. Splits the defense. 25-5, to five. Hazen on top by 20. Faith Benjamin walking it up court. Hazen in a man-to-man. -man. They bounce it in to Skillman. She puts it up. It's partially blocked by Luther. Picked off there by Gillespie. Hands it to Davison. Davison jogging up court. Looking to see what she has. Gets it over to Luther. Luther into Gillespie. Gets it out. Long three by Davison. Nothing but net. Makes it 28-5. to five. Halfway through the second quarter. Taylor Duquette puts it up, short rims it, rebound by Gillespie, hands it to Davison. Here comes Hazen. Oh, nice bounce pass up to, oh, Davison gonna spot up another three, in and out, no good. Here comes Faith Benjamin, she gets it up to Skillman. Back out on top, Faith Benjamin's gonna shoot a three, and it's good! So Faith Benjamin with a three ball makes it 28 to eight. And here comes Davison. Bounces it in into the elbow to Haley Mitch. Oh, she hands it off to Davison, goes all the way, puts it up, and she is fouled. Oh, what a nice play. They bounce the ball into Haley Mitchard. Davison faked one way, went back the other way. Haley handed it off to her. She went down the lane, got fouled, gonna go to the line to shoot two. It's a way to move the basketball. Davison, just a junior. First one's up, and it's good. 
Oh, in the game now we have Julia DeGroslier and Sarah Collier. And they come in for Haley Mitchard and Tess Luther, both of whom have played good games today. And Davison looking to crack the 30 point mark here. Oh, around and out. Oh, rebound by Gillespie. Puts it up no good. Kind of off balance. She's lucky to get the rebound to begin with. And here comes Taylor Duquette. Picks up her dribble. Oh, goes underneath. Wow, nice play there. They couldn't get it to go by Peyton Niles. She gets it out on top to Megan Rainville. No good. And then, uh, who's, I can't see the number down there. That was Taylor Duquette. She came in for the weak side rebound. Put it up and got fouled. And that foul is on Bailey Christensen. Her first, team's fifth. So that will put Taylor Duquette to the line. Duquette dips, puts it up, uh, front rims it, no good. Duquette with her second one, dips, puts it up, and that one's good. 29-9. And here comes Caitlin Davison. Over here to Collier. Collier looks inside, goes to the baseline, brings it back out, passes it to Bailey Christensen, to Gillespie, looking, looking. Oh, to Bailey. Christensen stops, puts it up, no good. Rebound in there by Forrest Skillman. She gets it over to Taylor Duquette. Duquette stops. Oh, stops, pops, puts it up short. Saved. And oh, wow. And they're going to call Caitlin Davison for the little collision. Nice hustle there by Fairfax to save that ball from going out of bounds. Uh, that's going to be Caitlin's first, I believe it is. And let me see, number 15. Sadie Skorstad comes in, replacing Bailey Christensen. Skorstad a junior. So. They get it into Skillman, back out up on top to Peyton Niles, no good, missed the rim. Davison with the rebound, wanted to come out there fast. Here she comes, she doesn't have numbers, she backs it back out, very smart play. Over here to Skorstad, into Gillespie, back to Skorstad. Oh, she looked for Sarah Collier, but it got to Julia DeGrosier, back out on top. Oh, that works. <laughs> that works, a little busted play, but it went to Caitlin Davison, wide open for the three. Nothing but net. Well, I'd say nothing but net. It did rattle around a little bit. 32-9, to nine, though, as we wind down the first half. They get it over there to Megan Rainville on the side. She looks. She does a little give and go. That was to Taylor Duquette. She saved it. Taylor Duquette puts up a baseline, missed everything. Rebound, rebound by uh, Skorstad. Skorstad to Davison. Davison looking, looking, looking. They all wide open. Gillespie, and she gets fouled and hit. She was wide open, and that foul is going to be on number 15, I believe. Yeah, Hannah Miller. That's her second. So Ella Gillespie, one of the seniors on the team. She's going to go to try to put two up there. Dips, fires, bang. Gillespie with the second one, nothing but net. Hazen doing very well from the free throw line today, which is important as we go down the stretch, as everybody knows. So Benjamin comes left, stops. Hands it off to Duquette, tried to get it back to Benjamin, picked off there by DeGrosier. Here comes Davison, bounce pass up to Skorstad. Skorstad's gonna go, to, oh, lost control of it. Nice pass there by Caitlin Davison. Skorstad just couldn't quite bring it under control. So Fairfax going to inbound it. Benjamin, their point guard, is going to walk it up. She's going to be picked up by Davison right at half court. Goes to the right. Over there to Taylor Duquette. Duquette's looking for something. She comes left. She wants to do a give and go. She does. Oh, blocked in there. Forrest Skillman got blocked by DeGrosier and picked off. Uh, yeah, they go to Skorstad. Collier coming to the foul line, picks it up, brings it back out, resets. Over to Davison. Davison looks. Oh, she's got Julia De uh, DeGrosier. Oh, missed the shot. Julia DeGrosier did a nice job posting up. Didn't realize quite where she was. 
Missed the shot, long pass down to Skillman. She loses it, picked up by Davidson. Down here to Collier. Collier looking, looking, looking. Looking, gets it into the girls the air. Back out on top, she tried to go to Skorstad, but picked off by Fairfax, but she lost it out of bounds. So we've got 26 seconds left to go here just before halftime. Hazen on top, 34 to nine. Going to inbound it in the offensive end, hopefully looking for the last shot. Davison walks it up, there's a screen. Oh, she's gonna go right down the lane. Oh, and what a pass. Oh, and she didn't have to pass that, but what a pass. Tried to go to the girls the air. Collier back to Davison. 10 seconds left, nine seconds. Here comes the screen, Davison stops. Gillespie at the buzzer. Oh, couldn't get it to go. But there's the buzzer that ends the first half and your Hazen Union Lady Wildcats are leading the, bullet, the Bullets from Fairfax 34 to nine. This is John Lucier saying, I hope you enjoyed the first half and we'll see you at the second half. Okay, we're just about a minute and a half away to start the second half here. Let's just go down the scoring rundown for the Lady Wildcats. Tess Luther with six, Alexis Christensen with five, Caitlin Davidson with 13, Julia DeGroslier with three, um, Ella Gillespie with five, and Haley Mitchard with two for a total of 34. Again, I want to thank our sponsors. Sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports today at 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. And applications are now open for any of their GMTCC programs. You're also watching this on HCTV channel 1080 and you can stream it at www.hctv.us. And if you were looking to uh, hear Lance Hall today, you're stuck with me. Uh, John Lucier, I'm subbing for Lance. He works on Saturdays. He can't be here on Saturday games. So he lets me, he's gracious enough to let me come up and do one once in a while. And I appreciate it. So we get ready to second, start the second half. It's going to be a Fairfax ball. And Hazen with their starting five out there. Fairfax gets it out to Benjamin. Benjamin over in the corner. That's Villeneuve with a three-pointer. Couldn't get it to go. Battled around in there. Oh, picked up there by, uh, let's see, number 10. That'd be Taylor Duquette. And she puts in the rebound, makes it 34 to 11. Here comes Luther all oh, inside to Haley Mitchard. Back out to Luther, Luther over here. Oh, she has it picked off. And here goes Skillman, Skillman's gonna lay it up. No, good short, picked up by Davison. Davison, oh, bounce passes it, tries to get it to Haley Mitchard. So both teams a little shaky here. Oh, picked off by Luther. Both teams trying to run, but both teams are getting back on defense. So Davison says, I'll settle this down. Gets it over to Luther on the right side, dribbles towards the baseline, picks it up, out top to Christensen, Christensen drives. Tries to go inside to Gillespie, gets, uh, gets it back out to Mitchard, back out to Davison. Davison looking, she's gonna bounce it into Haley Mitchard, she's gonna take one dribble, back out on top to Luther. Luther spots up, three ball, no good. Re oh, rebound rattled around, Haley Mitchard taps it back out, she didn't give up on it. Luther picked it up, get it, got it to Davison, inside to Gillespie, puts it high off the glass, no good. And here comes Fairfax, Benjamin. Gets it over to Duquette. Duquette goes baseline, stops. Underhand scoop, no good. Oh, Skillman rolls in there for the rebound. Nobody boxed her out. She lays it in. So Fairfax with the first two hoops of the second half here. Cut the lead to 34 to 13. Here comes Davison. Davison stops right. Back out on top to Luther. At the elbow to Haley Mitchard. Back on top to Davison. Davison spots up. They give it to her. Back rims it, no good. Rebound by Fairfax. That's Villeneuve with a rebound. Back. Villeneuve picks it up. Oop, throws it over the head of Benjamin. Picked off by Christensen to Davison. Reverse layup, puts it in. Good little fast break there. By Hazen, makes it 36 to 13. Benjamin, long ball there. Wow, that ball by Taylor Duquette. That's a three ball, 36. Oh, they give her just two, I guess, 36 to 15. Davison goes right. 
Stutter steps, a dry all oh, wide open. Good stutter step, drove the lane. She drew the defense asleep with a stutter step and just blew by him, she was wide open. Benjamin tries to bounce pass it. She's double teamed by Luther, picks it up, lobs it to Davison. Davison, oh, bounce pass to Christensen, puts it up, no good. Like, oh, a little travel there by Fairfax. Again, unselfishness by Caitlin Davison. Caitlin Davison had a lane, she could have gone. Boy, it's fun to watch these girls play together, and when they play together, they are good. Bounce pass inside to Gillespie, no good. Rebound, fought for, controlled by Fairfax. Here comes Benjamin, fix it up. Long pass down court to Duquette. Duquette, they gotta watch her. Oh, she goes baseline, stops, puts up a floater, no good. Good position by Gillespie. She picks off the rebound, hands it to Alexis Christensen, brings it to the middle, stops. Davison, long three-pointer on the way, nothing but net. Caitlin Davison. Now Alexis Christensen set that up by driving to the foul line, drawing the defense in, popped it back out. Davison was wide open. Taylor Duquette on the right for Fairfax. Looking, gets it over to Forrest Skillman. She drives, runs into her own man, stops, has it picked off by Gillespie. Oh, here comes Davison and Christensen again, learning the fast break. Christensen brings it back out over to Davison. Spots up, there goes Luther. Luther lobs it, or tried to lob it into Gillespie. Coach Ramsey Lumsden didn't like that pass. And there goes uh, Duquette for the layup. She gets hit a little bit, but no foul. Here comes Davison, stutter step. Alexis Christensen on the way, front rims it. Gets a rebound though, stops, bounces it to Gillespie. Gillespie fakes, way over here to Haley Mitchard. Back out on top to Davison. Tess Luther spots up. Squares up, no good. Rebound, no rebound yet. Oh, I thought she was gonna shoot. Oh, they lob it into Luther. Oh, she has it blocked. And here comes Taylor Duquette. Picks up a dribble. Oh, we got a timeout by Fairfax. 3.26 left to go here in the third quarter, and your Lady Wildcats are on top, 41 to 15. Hazen's starting to wear them down late, uh, late here in the third quarter. You can see that they're starting to pick off some passes and getting some fast break opportunities, and that's what happens. They just wear them down. Coach Randy Lumsden has been able to <coughs> uh, substitute liberally, keep fresh legs in there, and try to develop a bench for the playoffs, which is important. Uh, let me see their next game is, I believe they go to Northfield. They do Tuesday the 7th with a 6 and 7.30 start. Then next Thursday the 9th, they play Stowe here. That's a 6 o'clock start. And then next Saturday, Blue Mountain will come here looking for revenge because they had a, I don't know if they had an eight or 10 game winning streak of their own that Hazen snapped on their court. So they're gonna be here next Saturday for an 11 and 12.30 start. And then they close out the season by playing Milton on the 14th. So after today, they got four games left. And it looks like they're on their way to their 15th victory. For those of you that were looking to go to Twinfield the other night. Twinfield called, they had some injured players and didn't know if they had a full squad, so they called and they forfeited, not even a makeup. So Fairfax inbounds it. They get it down there to Peyton. Oh, oh picked off by Davison. Davison's left-handed layup and it's good. Hazen's defense starting to take a toll now. 43-15. Villeneuve, oh, picked off. Oh, almost picked off by Christensen, but Benjamin takes it to the baseline. Oh, goes right around, stops. Oh, tries to go inside, but she can't. Tried to hit Hannah Miller, picked off there. By Gillespie, she gets it to Davison. Davison over to Gowan, who's in the game, goes to the baseline, picks up a dribble, bounces it into Gillespie. Gillespie stops, puts it up. Oh, they're gonna call a foul. She gets knocked down. Gillespie's hit the floor two or three times today. She's gonna be a little sore. But the senior's gonna go to the free throw line to shoot two. And that foul is on Anna Villeneuve, and that is her fourth, team's first. So she's gonna come out. 
Ella's first one's good. So Gillespie looking to hit the second one here. She sets herself, puts it up. Oh, she's got a good touch. I think she's five for five from the foul line now. So here comes Fairfax. Benjamin picked up by Davidson who makes her go left. They get it over there to Peyton Niles, goes baseline, bounces it off her leg. Here comes Julia DeGroes there. She's going in for Haley Mitchard. So Hazen will inbound it. It'll be Gowan giving it to Davison. Stops at the, uh, hesitates at the elbow, goes right by him for a layup. What a nice stutter step. Kaylin Davison, 47 to 15, winding down the third quarter here. Peyton Niles goes underneath, can't get it to go. Off the hands of uh, the girls here, picked up by um, Gowan. Gowan, left-handed, gets it over to Davison. Davison stops. Out on top, Christensen puts up a three ball. Bang, nothing but net. Alexis Christensen. Sat out most of the first half in a little bit of foul trouble, but she's making her presence known here. Ooh, almost picked it off. They try to go inside, they can't. Picked off there by Davison. Oh, Davison bounce pass to Gowan. Gowan goes left, puts it up high off the glass, can't get it to go. Nice pass there by Davison. Gowan coming left, almost made it. Benjamin, oh, a little collision there to Skillman, back to Benjamin. She fakes, puts up a floater off the glass, no good. Nice, strong rebound in there by Julia DeGroslier. She yanked it away from everybody, hands it off to Davison. Davison walking it up, over to Gowan. Gowan, oh, Christensen. Oh, nice pass to Gillespie, puts it up and it's good. Nice look there by Alexis Christensen. So we got about a minute left to go here in the third quarter. Hazen on top, 52 to 15. Fairfax with the ball for a minute. Oh, it goes out of bounds off of Hazen. A couple of subs coming in for Fairfax. Faith Benjamin, who's just about exhausted coming out of the game, and Megan Rainville coming out of the game. Fairfax to inbound it. They get it in the corner. Oh, that is Peyton Niles with a, they gave her a two ball, I guess. 52 to 17. Christensen, give and go to Davison underneath, and she gets fouled. And that foul, I believe, is going to be on Charlotte McIntyre. That's her first. So that'll put the junior, Caitlin Davis, into the line. Caitlin having another great game. In a game like this, Caitlin can be like, she can sneak up on you pretty quick, you know? She, you don't think she's scoring that many, and all of a sudden a couple layups here, a couple of three-pointers, a few foul shots. Next thing you know, she's got 15 or 18 points. And the best thing about her is she also gets a handful of assists. She will pass to an open player if they're open. Nice spin move picked off by Christensen. Here comes Christensen and Davison. See what happens. Christensen didn't have it. Back to back out to Gowan. Over here to Davison. Spots up. Three ball. That's going to be off the front rim. Rebound by Gillespie. She puts it up and it's good. So here comes Fairfax. This will be Taylor Duquette bringing it up. Running the point now. Guarded by Davison. Gets it over to Skillman. Skillman looking, looking. Back over there. Inside. Oh, nice play there. At the buzzer. That was Charlotte McIntyre. Had it come off the front rim. It was a nice play. She's happy she got it off. But that ends the third quarter. And the score, your Lady Wildcats, 55. And the Bullets from Fairfax, 17. Again, I want to thank our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, where you can jumpstart your future. And their applications are now open for any of the GMTCC programs. 
And if you uh, have a student that's interested, please have them give them a call and apply. Very, very good programs, and they do a very good job down there. Again, you're watching HCTV. Today's broadcast is on channel 1080, and you can stream it at www.hctv.us. So it's going to be Hazen's ball to start the first quarter, fourth quarter. They're already ahead 55 to 17, going to win their 15th in a row. Davison gets it into the girls' layer, looks to go back door, but it's not there. Davison stutter steps, going to back to the girls' layer in the middle, puts it up, and it's good. That's a set play. Nice little soft touch by the girls' layer, a freshman. Fairfax in the corner. Oh, almost threw it out of bounds. Faith Benjamin's back in the game. She has it picked by Davison and Gowan double teamed her. Here comes Davison. Davison goes all the way, splits the defense. Can't get it to go, though. Benjamin up quickly to Skillman. She loses control of it. She rolls around, and she is tied up for a jump ball, and it's going to be Fairfax's ball. Fairfax trying to do a little fast break of their own. Fairfax inbounded, that's Benjamin looking, looking, looking. Oh, throws it away. Picked off by Christensen. Oh, she bounces it to Gowan, nice pass. Puts it up right-handed, right-handed. Using her weak hand, lays it in. Isabel Gowan, probably the fastest player on the team, if not the league. She is quick. They get it to Benjamin, she stops. Bounces it over to Skillman, takes a step, puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound fought for, controlled by Julia. She gets it over to Alexis Christensen. Oh, she tried to bounce pass it to uh, Gillespie. Uh-oh, they're going to call a foul on Caitlin Davison on a battle for the ball. And now we have Haley Mitchard and Sarah Collier in the game, and Caitlin and uh, Ella Gillespie are out. So on the floor we have... Isabel Gowan, Alexis Christensen, Haley Mitchard, Julia DeGrosier, and Sarah Collier. Two freshmen, a junior, and a couple of seniors. Oh, almost a travel there in the corner. That's Peyton Niles, brings it back out on top to Benjamin. Benjamin over here to Taylor Duquette. Oh, she tried to bounce it inside. Oh, Sarah Collier on the floor. Ties him up for a jump ball. And Hazen wins the ball. <laughs> Sarah Collier dove in there like she meant business. And came up with the ball for Hazen. So Christensen running the point now. Oh, tries to go to Gowan. Oh, they're going to give it to Fairfax, and they should. That was a good call. It went off of Isabel's hands. In the game now, we have Anna Villeneuve, and she replaces Taylor Ducat. So Fairfax will inbound it. Here comes Benjamin. Gets over the half court, picked up by Gowan. They go inside to Peyton Miles, spins to Skillman, picks up a dribble, passes it back out over here to Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Oh, back to her. Down on the baseline and, oh, hit the side of the backboard. That was Peyton Niles. Rebound fought for and controlled. Julia and two Fairfax players. And Fairfax has possession this time. So they're going to inbound it underneath their basket. They get it inside, long shot there, no good by Peyton Niles, picked off by Gowan, here comes Gowan, over to Collier, Collier stops, brings it back out, back to Gowan, Gowan's going to drive, hit Christensen, Christensen three ball, no good, picked off by Skillman of Fairfax, here she comes, and you know she's going all the way, and oh, she couldn't get it to go, and they're going to give it to, uh, I believe, Isabel Gowan, yeah, Isabel Gowan, who was kind of riding her all the way down. So that will put Forrest Skillman to the line. Skillman just a junior. Missed the first one. 
Fairfax with only three seniors on their team. They're very young, couple freshmen. Second one is up off the front of the rim. Nice box out by Collier. Puts it out to uh, Alexis Christensen. Comes up, stops, comes to the middle. Picked up by Skillman. Gets it to Collier. Collier looking. Collier goes left, stops, bounces it into Mitchard. Mitchard fights for it. Back over to Julia. Back out on top to Christensen. Christensen drives and loses control. Tied up for a jump ball. And this one's going to go to Hazen. Alexis Christensen will inbound it. 5.19 left to go. And here comes, this is Bailey. Bailey Christensen replaces Isabel Gowan. Bailey just a sophomore. Alexis will inbound it. Out on top to Bailey, over to Sarah Collier. Collier looks, 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 nothing there. Brings it over, way over to Alexis Christensen. Three ball, bang. Boy, you could tell that was in when it left her hand. That was a nice rotation on the ball. Good shot. 62 to 17. And that was, if I can get her number, number 15. That would have been Hannah Miller with that nice layup right there for Fairfax. Here comes Christensen. They get it over to Christensen. <laughs> Sisters. Oh, tried to go inside to Haley Mitchard. Couldn't control it. They're going to give it to Hazen. Haley thought she lost it, but she'll take it. Into Mitchard. Mitchard stops, puts it up, and got it to go. A little off balance because she got hit a little bit from behind, but she got it to go. Oh, nice, nice give and go there. Oh, Skillman put it up. Haley Mitchard blocked two shots. She's got the rebound. And I'll tell you one thing about Haley Mitchard. She gets her hands on that ball. You may tie her up, but you aren't going to take it from her. Haley comes out of the game now. And for those of you who don't know, Haley Mitchard was awarded a Presidential Scholar or Vermont Scholar, some high honor down in Montpelier for her HVAC work and all other things. She's going to go to college out in Ohio, doing very well. But it was quite an honor down there at the governor. Oh, nice pass inside. Christensen picks it up, tries to go in the middle. She falls down, gets it out to her sister, Bailey. Bailey goes right. Bounces it in. Oh, nice move. Nice entry pass by Bailey Christensen. She fed to Grosley. To Grosley, it was one of the quicker moves she's made all day. Turns around and got it up and under the defender and laid it in. Got fouled. So, Anna Villeneuve, the foul's on her. That's her fifth, so she's done for the day. Um, team's third, but that's going to put Julia De Grosley here. She's just a freshman, and that was a, quite a move. She's made a lot of progress this year on her uh, post-up moves. Randy's really done a good job. And she nails a free throw. Yeah. Julia's come a long ways. Halfway through the fourth quarter, Hazen comfortably on top, 67-19. They go underneath the Skillman. Rebound. Oh, saved by Skillman, but right to Collier. Collier gets it to Tess Luther. Luther bringing it up. Coach Lumsden doing a little mix and match here with three or four of the younger players in there with one veteran all the time. Sarah Collier lost the ball there. It's picked off. Oh! They got a foul there. <laughs> foul by Sarah Collier. As oh, and they call her for a flagrant foul. So that's going to put Peyton Niles to the line to shoot two. This is the first one. So Peyton will get another one. 
and Fairfax will get the basketball. Second one's on its way, short. So with 3.36 left to go in the game, the score remains 67-19, but because of the flagrant foul, Fairfax is gonna retain possession underneath their own basket. They get it inside to Niles, guarded by Collier. Niles goes underneath, puts it up, no good. Rebound fought for in there, recovered by Niles. She gets it down to Heather Love. Ella Drury gets it back out to Heather Love. There goes Peyton, now they only call three seconds. So Fairfax turns it over. Collier inbounds it to Tess Luther. Hazen spreading the court a little bit now. Luther over here to Bailey Christensen, out on top to Collier. Collier over to Sadie Scorstad. There comes Bailey Christian, drives down the line, lane, puts it up high off the glass. No, oh, Julia DeGruzier got the rebound and slipped, got it back out to Collier. Boy, it's a good thing DeGruzier didn't get hurt there. She, feet went out from underneath her. But Collier hits it. Fairfax on the drive, can't get it to go. That shot by Megan Rainville, picked off by Luther. Luther up to DeGrosier. DeGrosier is going to go into the layup, put it up, and it's good. DeGrosier, the freshman, putting on a little clinic here. Working real hard, 71 to 19 in favor of Hazen. Ooh, nice move there. Oh, went over the rim, didn't use the backboard. That by Peyton Niles, picked off by Luther. So he reached the two minute mark here. Over to Collier, Collier spots up, no, drives, puts it up, no good, rebound by DeGrosier, oh, tapped it back up. Ooh, Julia, Julia DeGrosier having a whale of a fourth quarter here, and she's only a freshman. 73-19, Hazen completely in control of this game. Niles picks up her dribble, tries to get it back out. Oh. Well, they call it tip, so they, oh, they tried to go over to uh, Heather Love. They couldn't do it. There's Bailey Christensen. Gets it back out on top to Sadie Skorstad. Skorstad over to Bailey Christensen. Oh, they tried to go inside to Julia, and they couldn't get it to her. So Isabel Gowan will come in and replace Tess Luther. So right now, we have, let me see, we have two freshmen, a sophomore, and two juniors in the game. Oh no, Tess stayed in, so she's a senior. I oh know she's a junior, that's right. So Fairfax throws the ball out of bounds. Hazen's gonna inbound it, minute left to go. Here comes Tess. Tess just looking to run things. Gets it over to Gowan. Gowan goes right, stops, picks up a dribble, out on top, scores Stad way across into Bailey. Luther, cross court. Gowan into Julia, high off the glass, no good. Rebound, oh, nice rebound in there by Sadie Scorstad. Gets it out to Bailey Christensen, her shot, no good. Half a minute left to go here in the game. Hazen comfortably on top, picked off. Here comes Gowan, Gowan slows it up. Good play by the freshman, no need to hurry. Bailey Christensen fires it up and side rims it. Ooh, away from the ball, a defender. That would be number two, oh, Peyton Niles. She looks like she rolled her ankle away from the ball. So I'll just remind you that the girls' next game is Tuesday at Northfield, and the boys go to Peoples Wednesday night down there. And uh, Peoples has been playing some pretty good ball lately, and that's always a tough place to play, so it should be a good game. Oop, Peyton Niles gets up. She can put a little weight on it. Looks like she might have rolled it a little bit. 
Yeah, as you can tell, she's in some pain, but she is putting some weight on it. Boy, you always hate to see that. Don't like seeing these kids get injured. They come out and they try to work hard and they have fun. Okay, uh, Fairfax down to 20 seconds. Oh, picked off there by almost by Bailey Christensen. Saved, but right to Tess Luther. Tess Luther walks it up. Over to score stat. Gowan, Bailey Christensen, Tess Luther. Just going to hold it. Score stat into to girls here. She just holds it. And there's the buzzer. And this one is over. And the final score, the Hazen Union Lady Wildcats, 73. The Fairfax Bullets, 19. This is John Lusher saying, I hope you enjoyed the broadcast, and they'll see you at the next game.